Right, in this video, I'm going to go over how to set up proper domain forwarding for Intercom Educate if you have an AWS hosted app. So you can see that we've set up our Intercom Educate here and that we have our default URL, which is intercom.com or intercom.help slash trade defender, but we're using custom domain that's docs.tradedefender.com and we want to make it so that when users go through docs.tradedefender.com that they end up on Intercom Educate in a completely uh, SSL healthy environment. So, and the reason that I'm doing this, I'm making this tutorial is because I was able to do it successfully, but only with a little bit of trial and error. So I thought I'd clear it up since a lot of people use AWS. So the first thing that you need to do is go do CloudFront. And I'd never really used CloudFront before, but, and here's the one that I created, but I'll just create a fake one real quick. Uh, fake distribution. So just hit create distribution and web get started. And then your origin domain name is going to be custom.intercom.help. And then we're going to go down to viewer protocol policy and change it to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. And then here we make sure that origin protocol policy reads HTTP only. And then allowed HTTP methods. We want this to read get head and options. Then forward headers, you want all. Under query string forwarding and caching, we want forward all cache based on all. And then down here under alternate domain names, we wanted ours to be docs.tradedefender.com. So docs.tradedefender.com. And then we use our custom SSL certificate, which we have through AWS. Um, if you're using a different method of uh, if you're using a different SSL method, I've, I don't know how to help you. Um, make sure that custom SSL client support reads only clients that support server name indication. And then hit create distribution, but I already have. So go back to that. You can see here, here's mine. See docs.tradedefender.com and then here is our domain name for our CloudFront distribution. So it's going to take between 15 and 30 minutes to get set up. But then once you're done and it's done saying, here I'll show you. It'll read in progress over here under status for a while. But once that's done, come back here, go to route 53, go to your hosted zone. And then you create a record set. You type in, so we put in docs for docs.tradefender.com. You see we already have ours here. <laughs> and make sure it's an A record, not a C name. And then you turn, change alias to yes. And then under target, wait for it to load. All right, so here's our CloudFront distribution. Click on that, and then just hit create, and then since we already have that all set up, if I just go to docs.tradedefender.com, you can see we're in a completely SSL healthy environment. We haven't set ours up yet, but um, now it works.